In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install MultiMC in 2026. So let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up MultiMC like this. Now enter, here you'll find MultiMC.org, click on MultiMC and this will bring you to this page. Now, what you want to do is to download MultiMC you want to scroll down and you'll find something called download and install. So what you want to do is in this case get Windows, but you do have other operating systems as well. But here, as I am on Windows, I will click the green download button for Windows. Okay, so once you have MultiMC, you can close or minimize your web browser. I am going to close mine. Then you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Now what you want to do is select the zip and right click and extract all. Then you have to do extract and you now have a folder. So what you want to do here, you basically want to go ahead and delete the zip. Once you only have the folder, you want to go inside the folder and to make everything nice and clean, you want to go ahead and select MultiMC, copy it, then go to downloads and click paste. And now what you can do is delete this one here. So the MCC develop and you can just delete that. Now, the reason for this is because this is like a portable, so it looks a bit cleaner if it's like this directly. So let's say that we have this, and to go inside MultiMC, you want to double click MultiMC here. This is the actual folder for it. Here, you want to find MultiMC.exe and double click it. This will go ahead and open up the quick setup here. And what you want to do here is just go ahead and select a language. So let's do American English and do next. Here, it is downloading everything here, and it is just gonna get itself a like Java version. Here, basically, what you wanna do is make sure you have Java on your computer. For example, I have Java 25, for example, so I can choose this, or you can just choose a um, older Java or Java 24, it really depends what you have. Just try to find one, which is like JDK something, if you can. So I will have a link in the description as well to Java, to how to get Java if you need to have like a new version of Java. But in this case, just find a JGK here and just do finish here. And now we have MultiMC. Okay, so what we can do here is start using MultiMC. The first thing is that we need to have our account. So here in accounts, we need to go ahead and add an account. So to do this, go to manage accounts. And here you want to go ahead and add a account to MultiMC. So in this case, we need to copy link and go to our web browser. And here we need to go ahead and paste the link. Like so. Now we, we want to basically do enter. And this is gonna go ahead and ask us to add the code. We just do allow access. And now we need to go ahead and sign into our Minecraft Java account. So let's do this real quick. Okay, so once we accepted this, we can go ahead and go back to MultiMC, like so. And now we have our skin, which looks a bit interesting here, but we do have our skin here, so that's all good. So yeah, there you go. What we can do now is just go ahead and close this window, and now we have MultiMC. Okay, so once you have MultiMC with your account, you can go ahead and go to Add Instance, and here we can go ahead and create an instance. So here we can import things from Modern, for AT Launcher, or Feed the Beast, for example. But let's say that we just want a normal Minecraft instance. We just have our name here. We can just call it anything we want. Like this, 2026. Here we can select a Minecraft version. We can just do this one. And we can just do OK. And there you go. Now what we can do here, we can go ahead and select a settings for this instance. So for example, if we go ahead and go to this location on the screen, we have edit instance here. And here we can go ahead and change things such as the settings and the Java settings, you can change the amount of memory we have, which is great if you want to have a bit more performance. So that's what you can do. You can just do like, for example, here, four gigabytes. Minimum, you can keep it like this, so you can make it higher if you want. And you can just do like save by just leaving it. And you can do close. And here, what we can do is just go ahead and double click this. And this will go ahead and start downloading Minecraft for us. And the game will just go ahead and open up once everything has been downloaded. 
Okay, so here is Minecraft, enable the narrator. and here I'm just going to disable some default settings. You can import your Minecraft settings here as well if you want, but basically here is Minecraft and you can just play on it as normal. So you can go to single player world, you can go to server if you want, you can just add anything you want. So we can just like add a high pixel if you want, like this high pixel.net, I'll just call it 2026, and here we can just join this like this. It works great. So yeah. That is basically how we download and install MultiMC for Minecraft Java in 2026. So yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!